Hey there, I'm Christine Collins and I have for you today five ways that you can make your videos more compelling for your audience and more aligned to your communication style. So tip number one on the practical side of things is to make sure that you are not recording your videos immediately after eating. <laughs> and this is something that I have definitely done. And that would include not scheduling a webinar or anything where you're going to be talking on camera for any length of time immediately following a meal. And the reason for that is because right after lunch for example you may find that you have like food sticking in your throat you may have like the remnants of your meal kind of coming back on you and you don't want to be coughing and choking while you are trying to speak on video so that's tip number one tip number two is to talk to the camera as if it is your BFF. Some people even will hang a picture up of a great friend of theirs or a client that they particularly like. You want to make it feel as though you're talking to someone in a personable way and really connecting with and relating to your audience and the person that you're creating the video for. Tip number three is where possible avoid using a script. And I know sometimes it's very tempting to have that, particularly if you are going to be speaking in a longer setting, like a webinar or something that's a little bit lengthier than a short video, but it really is more effective overall if you instead use a list of bullet points that kind of jog your memory and help you to recall what it is you want to talk about. Your speech will flow more normally and more naturally if you're not sounding as though you're reading off of a script. It really is just better to have a few key points that you want to try to make sure you stay on track with and then just allow the conversation to flow. If you have like an awkward pause or all of a sudden you do get attacked by a coughing fit because you did record right after lunch, you can always crop that section out later and it just allows for you to have a, a little bit more flow to your conversation. Tip number four, make sure that you keep your videos shorter than 15 minutes. And there is a neuroscience based reason for this because your audience can really only pay attention for about that long before they would need a brain break. And that is not really having to do with how interesting you are or how interested they are in your work. It really is simply a matter of neuroscience that it's not possible to keep our attention span focused on a singular thing for longer than 15 minutes without taking a brain break. So just make sure when you're recording videos and other types of content that you look at ways that you can dice it up to make it digestible. So for example, if you're speaking on something that is kind of a convoluted or deeper topic, maybe it's better to do it in layers and have one shorter video that gives the background or the backdrop and the context and a separate video that goes into the more in-depth things so that you're not leading your audience on this extremely long journey that they're going to find it difficult to keep up with you the whole time. Tip number five is to give them one clear, easy and fast takeaway item. Neuroscience shows us that people are more capable of remembering and internalizing new information and new learning when they can apply it immediately in less than 24 hours from learning it. If you're teaching them something new and then you give them a takeaway that's going to take them a week or two to complete or a very lengthy exercise to work on, they may not be able to find the time to work on it and as a result they won't implement that new learning straight away so it's much better to give them something bite-sized and digestible that they can do within five minutes to immediately implement something that you've taught them you can always give them a suggestion later for something that's more in-depth or save that for more in-depth one-on-one -on -one work for example if you're teaching something and you're trying to work with them in a more immediate way it would be best to give them a brief simple five minute action item that they are likely to be able to do right off the bat and be capable then of cementing in whatever it is that you've just taught them. 
So I hope you found this to be helpful and informative. Once again, I'm Christine Collins. You can check out my work at transformcreate.com. And in the meantime, I hope that you have an absolutely magical and creative rest of your day.